Lord, empower our divine ebbers to elevate us in Jesus' name. Lord, connect us to divine Eba from any corner of the world. We pray that you will send our destiny Eba that will help us to make great decisions in Jesus' name. Father, make it in a way that we be honor to you and to you alone. Amen. Good morning. Happy New Day. Happy Friday. September 27, 2024. This is Love World, the King You Open Heaven, a guide to a close fellowship with God. In our custom, let's say, Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah is an evil language. Hallelujah song we never say for our mouth in Jesus' name. Amen. The topic before this morning is Destiny Destroyers Part 2. Destiny Destroyers Part 2. I'm going to fashion me find the book of Luke 12, verse 15. I read, And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of conventionness, for man life consists not in the abundance of things which he possess. And he said unto them, Take heed. And beware of conventionness, for a man's life consisted not in the abundance of the things which he possessed. Yesterday, I discussed how the devil can use illicit sex as a tool to destroy destinies. Another means is to which the devil destroy destinies is greed. First Timothy 6, verse 10 says, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which why some converted after they had earned from the faith and paced themselves through with many sorrows. Only the devil can get someone to love money, other evil will begin to spring forth. Money should not be a dominion over you. Don't make decisions that you know that we did offend God solely because of money. Anything that is against the will of God, even if it has benefits worth billions of dollars attached to it, must become a taboo to you. Many people have stole money to buy a car, and then that car became their coffin. Gehazi had a great destiny ahead of him. He could have inherited a double portion of the double portion anointing that Elijah had. And that would have been given him tremendous power. However, great deny him of a destiny. No matter how much money a Christian is tempted to steal, God's plan for his or her lives is much bigger than it. I've seen a great destiny destroy because the people involved were too much in order to become rich. And so they took what they owed not to. Proverb 28 verse 20 says, A faithful man shall abound with blessing, but he that maketh is to be rich shall not be innocent. Don't be too much in hurry to be rich. If someone is too much in hurry for riches, he or she will not be innocent. And that lack of innocence is that what the devil will use to distress such a fellow. Be faithful and you will abound the blessing. Don't envy the people who are doing all manners of evil since to get money now. They are around. A witty slaughter. Proverbs 15, verse 27 says, He that is greedy of gain troubled his own house, but he that hated kids shall live. Those who are greedy of gain are calling trouble on themselves and their families. It is only a matter of time before they begin to burn from the trouble that they bring on themselves. 
Don't join them. Please, don't join them. But then, I want us to read the book of John 12, verse 3 to 6, and Matthew 26, verse 14 to 16, and our Bible in one year, Zechariah 1, verse 5, our hymn in 30, when we walk with the Lord, when we walk with the Lord. Our prayer point for today, Father, please kill every element of greed in me now, in Jesus' name. Father, please kill every element of greed in me now, in Jesus' name. And I pray, heaven will locate you for good, heaven will help your destiny, in Jesus' name. Amen. But then, this is love world. Till I come your way tomorrow, don't forget, subscribe to the channel, click on the like button, share with your friends and family, and goodness of God, will never live your life. Have a nice day, and bye for now. God bless you. Happy Friday. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.